So in this last lecture of this uh, module, we'll talk about the, the environment for marketing and how things are developing and changing. The number of external forces directly influence or sometimes indirectly influence the, de the development of one's marketing strategies. This involves the political, legal, regulatory, social environment, competitive characteristics, economic conditions, various kinds of technology changes, for example. Um, political and legal regulatory issues are the laws, how regulators affect the product or services that are being offered, various kinds of laws and regulatory activities, the different regulatory bodies that are out there, the EPA or the Food and Drug Administration, for example, as well as uh, political groups, political action and interest groups who might um, be pushing towards, uh, for example, more a certain type of consumer products like uh, trying to minimize genetically modified uh, organisms that you are part of the food chain, that sort of thing. Those kinds of events obviously will affect your marketing strategy. There are also social forces such as the public's opinions and attitudes towards certain issues such as living standards or ethics, uh, the environment, uh, environment, uh, general lifestyles, quality of life, uh, the general social attitude about things like genetically modified organism GMOs uh, is also an influencer as well as these actual political action groups that, that move in that direction. So these are some of the things that one has to watch out for when thinking about how you build your markets. We also have competitive and economic forces that are out there. Um, there might have something changes in the technology industry or there might be unemployment. Um, there might be some changes in purchasing power if uh, wages or salaries are under pressure, uh, general economic conditions, those kinds of things. Inflation rate might also affect the, uh, the, the way you want to position your marketing strategy. And then there's the technology forces, all this IT, social media, those things that are always being invented, these have a lot of impact on, uh, on how one develops their marketing strategy. Marketing requires creativity. Uh, it requires a customer focus. Um, because environmental forces change quickly, uh, one has to, and sometimes dramatically, one has to, some, has to really focus on being creative and responsive to these changes and even anticipating them to the degree that that's possible. Changes can arise from social concerns or economic forces. Uh, price could have a more of an effect or less of an effect depending upon the economic conditions, product shortages, or can change the level of demand in certain quantities or certain commodities and the like. So there's all of these effects that are changing in the political, social, competitive, economic, technology environment that one has to make sure that the marketing strategy is in resonance with as things change and as the organization moves forward. Uh, recently, for example, uh, climate change, global warming, the impact of carbon emissions on the environment has become strong social concerns that these are, and these are causing businesses to rethink their marketing strategy. These environmental issues have persuaded governments in some cases to institute some limits on greenhouse gases. There's lots of political discussion around that, uh, but the United States government has mandated under the Obama administration that by 2025 vehicles must be able to reach 54.5 miles per gallon. This is causing some automobile companies to investigate ways to make their cars more fuel efficient without significantly rising, uh, raising the price. At the same time, these laws introduce opportunities for new products. Uh, concerns about the environment are encouraging companies to release more electrical vehicles and all of that. And of course, those regulations might change under new administrations. So that's part of this idea of dealing with your marketing environment. So one could think about the marketing mix in the context of this environment. Um, although the focus on the marketing environment are sometimes uncontrollable, they're not totally so. And a market manager, marketing manager, can influence some of those variables. For example, businesses can lobby legislators to dissuade them from passing legislation that's unfavorable to their product or service in some way. Um, 
the, the figure here displays how these various parts might influence the organization are kind of outside of this marketing mix, but you always have to be balancing the marketing mix with these changes that are occurring um, in the environment, the organization's environment. So uh, to close this, uh, this module, um, we understand we have to understand how marketing fits with business and society in general. Um, as this discussion has shown, marketing is a necessary function for reaching customers and establishing relationships for the longer term with customers and driving sales, which allows the organization to continue to operate and earn a profit. While some critics might view marketing as a way to change what consumers want, marketing is actually uh, when done right, is actually essential in understanding the value that people want in their lives that can be achieved through commercial products, and then creating those products and communicating the value of those products and services so that people want to make that exchange. It's not just something that's happening in for-profit businesses that engage in these that engaging in these market activities. Nonprofits, government institutions, and even people, individuals must market themselves to spread awareness and achieve the outcomes they want. In other words, you find out what's what's necessary to happen to improve people's lives and then work on trying to develop the skills and capabilities that are necessary to deliver that value. That's all part of this marketing concept. All organizations have to reach target markets and they have to communicate their offerings to those target markets and then establish and maintain the high quality products and services that sustain that market over time and then of course adapt it as things change. So let's continue this with discussion on the uh, on Moodle. Um, a couple of discussion questions. We'll ask. Uh, we want to have a little discussion about what the marketing concept is and why it's so important. Uh, list some variables in the marketing mix and how each of these is used in a marketing strategy. Um, also, uh, you might want to post on why. Some market re why marketing research and information systems about marketing are so important to an organization's planning and development of its marketing strategy in its strategy more generally. And then lastly, we briefly describe, for example, some of the factors that influence buying behaviors of customers, both consumers, but also businesses as they buy. And what does understanding, how does understanding these buying behaviors help marketers develop their marketing mix. So I look forward to seeing, to seeing your discussions online and um, learning from each other about these various aspects of the marketing concept. We'll see you in the next module.